What is up? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. I know it's been a while since the last one, but there's really nothing to do. It's another Bronco video today. This last weekend, we went to Sand Hollow, the United by Bronco thing, and went on some trails. It was pretty sick. The Bronco did fantastic. Super capable off-road, obviously. Some video of it. Kind of kind of like a vlog, so hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A selfie of yeah. eating? Yeah. I'm weird like that. I'm scared. Everyone always talks about how noisy the Broncos are, and when you're going 80 down the highway, it is really noisy. It is super noisy, and it's not very comfortable on long trips. <laughs> That's right by my ear. That's so loud. We're going 80. We obviously had to stop for ice cream and Superman is the best. Superman! 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 Then we got to our hotel room and I slept like a dog. And we had to wake up pretty early the next day. It is 6.30 a.m. Uh, we have to be there early at like 8 or 9, I don't even know. Yeah, just sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet! That one is freaking sick. Oh, the cool too. We got a googie, goodie bag, you guys. Goodie bag. Look at this. Nice truck. <laughs> Look at this. Surrender the booty. That's classic. And that's that's how we do it. It's on the spare. Just zip ties. Works good enough. Surrender the booty. <laughs> So when we got there, we looked up some trails, and we were originally gonna do, I forget the name of it, it was, it was only rated about like a three, just gonna do some tame stuff. So we like got to the trailhead, and we're starting to air down our tires, and then by that time, this other group of Broncos, who were on like a different trail, but they were all in a group with a guide and all that, you know, they pulled up to air down their tires, it was kind of the start of the trail, and so they were airing down their tires, and then the guide, the guy's name is Clay, he's pretty much true g clay comes up he's this guide and he's like you guys with us and we're like well uh not really but frick we'll go with you and he's like sure yeah just follow in behind me i are like thanks dog uh he's been doing guides in sand hollow for 30 something odd years so he was very experienced he he was the he's the one in front as you can see in this video he's the one uh in that red bronco extended wheelbase it's pretty it's a pretty uh gnarly machine there he was a great guide he was helping us through the obstacles and stuff and he helped air down our tires and all this and so he basically adopted us he's a really good guy appreciate that but anyway the trail that they were going on which now we were going on was rated a six and and some parts a seven like it crossed over into another trail that was rated a seven so we did some seven obstacles in our bronco and it handled them like a champ but we were looking for the easy stuff but we went real off road road right into the thick of it we get on this trail sliplock gulch rated a six at sand hollow and basically that's just some background of of how we got with these guys they were awesome you'll see in this video there was like a 96 like green one there was like a 70s red one that one is freaking sick uh, there was a new blue one. It was a wild track corridor 2021. There was a Bronco 2 that was with us There was an old white one. Yeah, just a good group of people and we were uh, just having a good time And so there's a little background of kind of what happened and uh, yeah again shout out to clay. He really uh, helped us
He's got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what he can get done. This guy was so close so many times, but eventually he got winched up. Oh, dang. Oh my. Is there even a better day than this? Hello. This is the exact same obstacle you guys were just seeing uh, where that guy got winched up, but this is just from a different perspective on the other side, and these razors were coming through, and they made it look like it was a piece of cake. I was recording with my phone and unfortunately it died, but the Bronco 2 didn't make it, so he had to turn around. And then the green Bronco tried it and he was trying it for a while and then he actually broke his front axle or driveline or whatever. So uh, he only had two wheel drive, so he turned around and headed back and so did the Bronco 2. They were like buddies together, so we lost uh, two people right there. So this was the hardest obstacle by far on the entire trail. Uh, you start in this like little bowl and then these ledges are as tall as your hood. This Bronco is a lot higher off the ground than ours, so we were scraping. But uh, I'll show you that clip in a second. But this one makes it look super easy, but very hardest part of the trail here.
the end of this trail, there's this big, giant, long, just sand hill, and it's super steep, and there's no grip. It's just sand. You just slide all the way down, even if your brakes are all locked up. Unfortunately, um, my mom didn't hit the record button or whatever, so we didn't get us going down, but that's where the start is, you can see there, and then these razors were coming down, and they were coming down really fast, and they couldn't really stop either. Super thick and just super sandy. Overall, it was a really fun trail and a really fun day, and yeah, I recommend the trail and Sand Hollow in general. And then, so after this, it was just back to the road. All right, so just got done wheeling. That's how dirty that is. Pretty dirty everywhere. Let's see if we got any trail damage. We got some pinstriping right there. Fortunate. Yeah, we did not hit the front at all, really. Didn't use this, didn't have to use that skid plate, which is great. We did hit this a couple times, as you can tell. It's a little hit, and then it's pretty good overall. Some dirt shikes. So then after that, we had to go to Costco and get some groceries. Costco run. Run, be looking kind of full. Okay, we're going 80. Listen to the wind now. All right, that's the sound of 80. As you can see, we put a bunch of towels up in the roof, basically stuffed it in there because there's a lot of room in there. Uh, we got gray ones. We should have got black ones. They didn't have any black ones, but basically we just lined the whole roof with towels and it works. It's a lot quieter, approved. Point nine. Three thousand. All right guys, we made it back home from four wheeling in the Bronco and uh, it's been a long day, it's been a long weekend, but the Bronco did fantastic rock crawling. Things I did notice was it is extremely loud when you're going 80. And that really sucks if you're going on like a six hour drive like us. Another thing is that it is pretty uncomfortable. I don't know if it's the seats or if it's the ergonomics of it or something, but it's just not very comfortable to like be in for a long time. And it's, and yeah, it's windy and uncomfortable. So this is definitely not car you take for a road trip. Okay. It's not the car you take for a road trip. It's what? That's not what it's made for. It's made for rock crawling and that we did and that it did fantastic at. Super comfortable off road, obviously when you're, especially with the sway bar disconnect, it's just, and I mean, man, dude, this thing was climbing some insane stuff. It's a really good off roader and that's, that's what it's for, you know? Okay guys, it is the next day and, uh, we just washed it. It's looking freaking nice. But while we were washing it, I noticed something that was, uh, well, the biggest trail damage we had. Uh, up until that point, I thought we just scraped the skid plates a little, though the trailing arms scraped a little, but this uh, does hurt. I don't know if you can tell, but that step is bent up quite a bit. And upon further inspection, um, yeah, the freaking ends of those bolts went up into the body and dented it in those two places where the two bolts are on both of these. That one's a little better, but especially on this one. I mean, frick, you guys, look at that. Big old dent. So apparently, and I didn't even know, like I was driving and I never like, I never hit this. I never hit this on a rock or anything. I mean, I must have, but I didn't hear it. I didn't feel it or anything. I don't remember ever hitting there, but obviously I did. Basically hit a rock, this came up and pushed that up into the body like I predicted. Um, I, I showed these in a video before and I said they have a crappy design. Roll that clip. We um, put these steps on, but I hate this. Like, look at the gap between that body. Like the gap is so thin. Actually over here, it hit the body from the screw bouncing up and and going into the body 
So I don't know why they designed it like this. Horrible design. Knew that if we hit something on here, they would go and push up into the body. I mean, we, we were gonna take them off every time we go off road, but they're just a pain and we forgot. Um, you know, we were sitting there airing down, this group was ready to go and we were still airing down our tires. So as soon as that was done, we hopped in and left. So, you know, they weren't waiting on us, but so we forgot, but ugh. I'm, and it's not super noticeable, but man, it just freaking hurts. But uh, anyway, that is all for today. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, uh, comment, whatever. If you were out there, leave a comment. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe. Wolf Wolf out. Fortnite move! Oh, Fortnite!